mm-hmm. which he's so defensive of, because when you say ECWA sucks, mm-hmm. or ECWA show is ECWA show is terrible, he's like, oh, well, why are you talking about my roster? Nobody's talking about the roster. Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about Mike Tartaglia personally, yeah. which the same guy who came on my show has also said that he doesn't care when people talk about him. He'd rather have people talk about him than talk about the roster, which nobody does, mm-hmm. because nobody would talk about the roster because everybody on his roster works for multiple companies. So why would any yes. promoter shit on a worker that they're going to probably have to use some that way down the road? Mm-hmm. So, again, that didn't make any sense, inconsistencies of what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But then he goes on his little podcast that his company has, and he complains for 25 minutes of why people are picking on him. Well, he's he's not that. But you literally just said that you don't care. You want the focus to be on you, but then you're complaining that the focus is on you. Hmm. Well, he's a person that shouldn't be in the business at all. He shouldn't be in the business at all, you know? At all. Uh, Look. Yeah. But my problem is, and and it's not just with it. It's not just with him. It's anybody who has this old school mentality that you can still run a wrestling show, a promotion, Mm -hmm. or or uh, or bookings or any kind of convention yeah. still using the mentality and skill set that you had back in 1995. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, this is 2019. You know, mm-hmm. in, two, in 1995, mm-hmm. you know, there was no Facebook. You know, no, nobody no. really used MySpace to promote anything but music. I think that was like, like the only thing you were allowed to promote yeah. back in the day. If you had a company page uh, and bands. Like yeah, music bands. I mean, MySpace, Jersey All Pro, we used to promote a lot on there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, I know Warriors of Wrestling did yeah. as well because we were, yeah. we were laughing. We found their old page and we were laughing at like you know how cheesy it was. Oh really? <laughs> I know my pictures are probably still out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but, but you can't have this mentality. No, that no. The only thing you have to do is put a say, hey, I'm running a show on March 9th. Bam, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Get the talent that's, there. That's, the yep. fans aren't coming. You're giving the fans zero reason to show up. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter if you put on a, a, an unbelievable show or not. Mm-hmm. You're giving the fans no reason to take the chance to go to the show to find out it was a great show. You know what? Do you, you remember that one promoter, NWS? Um, I don't know. If, uh, was the, it was Dapper Johnny. Yes, yeah, I've heard of him. I never met him. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The carny of wrestling. Yep, he always screwed everybody over. Everybody in the business. I know he used to rip down people's posters. So. Huh? Yeah, yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I've, I've, when I started when I started doing this, um, yeah. I worked with Ricky O. Yeah, hey, my, oh, good old Ricky. I love Ricky. Ricky's a great guy. Yeah, I worked with Danny Tomato at JCW. Yeah. Yeah. and you know, I worked with them. I worked with uh, the Jersey Devil at D2W. Right. Um, I've done work with. Uh, with Setergy Wrestling, yeah. uh, Pro Wrestling Magic, mm-hmm. Warriors of Wrestling, mm-hmm. um, yeah, just Five lots. Burrows, Tier yeah. One. Mm-hmm. Like I, I've done work with probably a dozen companies. I'm proud of you, and you're proud of what you do, you know, and that's awesome. Uh, you know, and yeah. look, it, 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 every one hands, you know, it's like the old saying, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Yes. You know, we're all in this to make money. We're all in this to help each other. So Absolutely. if someone's putting on a show mm-hmm. and they say, hey, bring your talent here, mm-hmm. your talent is helping that show make money. And then the more people walk in that door spending money, I have the chance of having to come to my table and spend more money. Mm-hmm. So it, yeah. it all full circle, it works out. Yeah. But when you don't give a shit about your company, no, you can't expect anybody to give a shit about them. You can't. You can't expect your workers to, to bust their ass postering, mm-hmm. bust their ass making promos, when you're telling everybody, I don't got time for my company. I got to I I sell juice. Company. Yeah. I gotta yeah, s- I got to sell juices. <laughs> I got to make smoothies. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I just don't understand it. You know, it just, it makes no sense to me. Then, then you should have got out of this game a long time ago because it's not like the last two shows have been bad. His mm-hmm. last two years have been awful. Yeah, yeah. You know, his big show, mm-hmm. his big Super 8 show, mm-hmm. which is, you know, the whole concept of it is great. Yeah. You know, you look at the, the roster of people. That he brings in, um, yeah. That, uh, that brought in over the years, even though he likes to pat himself on the back claiming that he made all these people, which is freaking mm-hmm. hilarious, but mm-hmm. that's besides the point. Um, but when 120-something people show up to a show that you're expecting a 1,000 people for, yeah, 
Like, yeah, I was reading a card and he had, what, Haku and somebody else was supposed to be the warlords or something, you know? Did they, did they even show up? Probably not. <laughs> I, I obviously, I, I have no idea who showed up. I, I, don't, <laughs> I know, right? See? I, I am blocked from one of their main pages. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, because of the last conversation. Yeah. You know, and then I, I had him on my show and I said, you know, let's talk about this. I had yeah. a whole line of questioning. We were on the phone for over an hour. Oh. We had a whole line of questioning, you know, hands, and basically every question and concern I had yeah. was his answer was a deflection towards somebody else. Yeah. So he's like just And it, it was just yeah. it was just it was just ass totally asinine. Yeah. And then the fact that he just lies about the whole origin of the company. Yeah. You know, he obviously he's not the original owner. We, no, we, we yeah, nineteen fifty three or come on, really yeah. That was what was it? Nineteen sixty seven? Nineteen fifty seven. Yes. You know, the original uh, founder was Jim Kettner, which yeah. is, that's absolutely true. And mm -hmm. you know, then another team bought the company. Yeah. And they had an agreement with Mike when mm -hmm. they sold it to Mike. They had an agreement. They were supposed to stay involved. They were supposed to stay in Delaware. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to run shows in certain places. And it was, you know, mm -hmm. and Mike basically screwed them all and said, hey, I'm doing it. You know, I'm going to do whatever I want and how I want it mm -hmm. and screw you guys. And then he turns around and it makes, you know, shits on them publicly that they're all a bunch of, like, lunatics or something. Like, they don't know what they're talking about. They're lying and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you just look, if all you have to do is go online and, and Google the history of this company, mm. and the, the the math doesn't add up. No. None of the math adds up. No. No. Of when it started and, and yeah. when he took over to, yeah. you know, uh, him claiming that there was nothing in between. Like, he, you know... Why it it just lie. it just yeah. didn't you know it yeah. didn't make sense you know no and then the other the other tournament he has he has the super eight chick fight tournament which yeah. is like the women's version of super eight mm -hmm. also a cool idea you know he pats himself on the back thinking he created something mm -hmm. um you know which is great I don't really care no. um <laughs> yeah. you know but again forty people showed up to their last show mm -hmm. but he blames it on everybody else blames it on talent for not advertising. Mm -hmm. Blames it on the people for not putting posters up. He's too busy with fridge use. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the so, get you out don't got sponsors. Mm -hmm. Sponsors help. Yes. So you don't go out and you get sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. And then you complain that you, you're not making any money, that you, you're, you're in it, you know, mm -hmm. nobody should be running a show unless they're making money, which, you know, <laughs> oops, apologize, my dogs. That's all right. Dogs are interfering. Um, no, okay. <laughs> You know, and yeah. it's just you know, like it's, it's just an ongoing because we don't because because Kevin, when we you know when we go to shows, I put a poster up. You know, I'll put my I'll put my table up and sponsor. You know, I'll throw it up for GCW or uh, your you know or your show. I'll eventually, I'll get out there and help you, and we'll do some things maybe too. That I would like to work with you also. You know, <laughs> but yeah, you just get the people around and they love it. They just yeah. like our promoting. And the, and the other thing, he, yeah. you know, he he did that that interview, which was mm -hmm. you know the biggest. Uh, page of horseshit I've ever seen in my life <laughs> yeah. when he put the show on hiatus right. um, was that he was blaming it on the oversaturation of wrestling in the Jersey area. Mm -hmm. and But then turns around and says, you know, we have a family show. We like to keep it that way. You know, if blood happens, it happens, but it's not a concentration. You know, we're not GCW, CZW, H2O, and they have the blood matches and the death matches mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know, they... they personally don't uh, like that style of wrestling mm -hmm. which okay great you know I'm, myself personally i'm not a fan of it either but to each of their own if the, if the yeah. public uh wants it you, you're supplying them a product that's mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. okay but you're catering to a totally different fan base and how are you blaming the, those three companies taking your business you can't, because they're because the talent's always everywhere, <laughs> you know. But, but one has nothing to do yeah. with the other. Yeah. You're not going to use the talent that's on that show yeah. for your show because they don't do you know that you're a family show. Yeah. You're not putting Matt Tremont yep. on your show. No, no. You know, you're, you're you're not putting Nick Gage on your show. Yeah, yeah. So why would you blame them for mm. taking business from you if your fan base is a family? Uh, friendly fan base, mm -hmm. they're not going to GCW, H2O, and CCW. No, they're going to the, the right. they're going to the Monster Factory. They're going here. They're going there. And that's another thing. He yeah. shits all over Monster Factory. Yeah, claiming who the hell is Cage? What has he done? 
He's he, never done he's, anything. I'll tell you what, that guy, he, I'm, you know, as a friend, man, he really some good talent coming out of there, you know? I, I agree. You know, he, mm -hmm. his reputation speaks for itself. So who is Mike to shit on, yeah. on Monster Factory and say that what, what have they done? Mm -hmm. What is he, who is he, what has he done? Like, seriously, like, look in the mirror. Yeah. Stop blaming everybody else for your lack of attendance. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's just ridiculous over and over again <clears throat> that we have to listen to mm -hmm. excuses. Like, you don't promote properly. Yeah. I literally, when he runs a show, yeah. if he posts something a couple months in advance, I maybe see it twice. Mm-hmm. None of his talent is doing it, mm -hmm. except for uh, Mike Law and Joey Ace. Mm -hmm. I do see them constantly post stuff. Mm -hmm. And Dirtbag Dan, once in a while, yeah, Hill. Uh, Dirtbag Dan, yep, yep. Um, when the female uh, when the female show is going on, I see because I work with a lot of those females, so mm -hmm. I see a lot of their stuff go up. But but again, every show that he has, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Like there's a problem. He's got some sort of issue with one of the females on the show. Mm -hmm. And it's always their fault. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you knew yet, he shit all over Tiana Peranza. Wow. Did he? Yeah. Oh, man. This is before she saw with NXT. Yeah. She's a bitch. Mm -hmm. She's going nowhere. No. She's a wannabe. Uh, she'll never make it to WWE. Yada, yada, blah, blah, yada. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I guess he's, yeah, he ate those words. Mm-hmm. But what are you going to do? You know, she made her way. He had a, you know? he had a problem yeah. with Karen Q. Yeah. He had a show. He had the Super 8. Mm -hmm. Karen Q was on there. Uh, they had the Honky Tonk Man was on the show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard this no. story that went on last year. No. Uh, apparently, Honky Tonk Man had some words to say to Karen Q mm -hmm. about her selling gimmick. And he apparently didn't think you know, of who she was that she should be charging for a gimmick. Uh, he disrespected her. Oh, wow. And then later on that night, it was either him or whoever handles his social media page, but either way, it came from Hot Dog Man somehow. Mm. He called her a cunt on his Facebook page. Oh, jeez. Wow. And called her a piece of shit. Wow. So yeah. I called him out. Yeah. I had a show a couple days later. I tried to get them on the phone. He wouldn't answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I even went up to him at WrestleCon in New, in New Orleans mm -hmm. um, two years ago, yeah. and I questioned him about it, and he played stupid like he had no idea what was going on. Right. Wow. So, yeah. again, and then Karen wound up leaving the company because, mm -hmm. according to Mike, the day of the show, she, she called him up the, the day of the show that was that night, claiming that she was offered more money to work somewhere else, and she said for him... For her to work there, he had to match it. That, that's her, his story. That's not her story. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I asked him straight up, I'm like, you're the owner of the company. How come you didn't come to the defense for your worker? How come you didn't go to Facebook on your page and say, we don't agree with the opinions of the hockey talk, man. We stand behind our champion. Mm -hmm. Instead, oh, I didn't know. I never heard anything about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody... Everybody knew what happened that night. Mm -hmm. Every fan that went to that show mm -hmm. either read about it later mm -hmm. or witnessed it in person. Yeah. But the owner of the company had no idea what was going on. Wow, because he's too busy worth thinking about his juice. Uh, yeah. Too busy <laughs> worrying about the smoothie of the day. Yeah. But, but the, again, like this is the bullshit, you know. Then yeah. then he goes on. Uh, I have a group of friends that, that uh, run the Ultimate Wrestling uh, Fanatic stage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my, my boy Mac. Yeah. He, was, he used to do this promoting stuff too. He did it out in uh, Philly, the Philly area and South Jersey and things like that. Mm -hmm. They decided, you know, they wanted to have a friendly wrestling event. Private event, mm -hmm. closed door mm -hmm. to friends and family. That was it. They rented the ring from, from Matt Tremont, rented his building. They mm -hmm. ordered food. You know, it was, you know, basically the equivalent of, like, having a family day at the park. Yeah. You know, except this was wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know, they called it the dumpster fire. They had their own belt. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a card. They had music. Like, they did it all up. You know, they made each other. They were all happy. And that was the main thing. It was for fun. Mike goes on a show and shits 
all over this, over them saying, this is the reason why wrestling is going.